response back. Um, so the short answer is if uh, that used to be the, the workhorse of Indo-US collaboration for a very long time. And uh, with uh, France, there is Cefipra. I don't know what is the full uh, thing, but uh, something called Cefipra. Uh, uh, Atrol of any, uh, yeah. so I'm very interested. If yeah, there is something like that. C E F I P R A. I don't know uh, what is the expansion. But. Okay, I will have a look at this. So what what uh, does he what 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 does he propose? Uh, you have to write a proposal with a French counterpart and an Indian counterpart, okay. and uh, each has to, you have to clearly identify what each person will do, and and the student from India has to go to France. The French student has to come to India, and you have to identify how many months each will stay, how how many months the student will go to the other country, how many months the professor will go to the other country, and and so on. Okay. I know some people who got it. It seems like it's straightforward. Okay, so, so it's, it's an exchange of student and professor. So. And also there is some money for buying things and so on. Okay, yeah. oh, that's interesting. So Mahesh at IIT Bombay has, okay. got a, and Peter Schmidt, they have a grant. Okay, any other thoughts on uh, proposal opportunities? I will, I will check into the Office of International Programs at NSF. Like I said, that, is, that was the, the main... Yeah, I, I can send you the link. I have uh, because I did the ISHMT conference and workshops in 2010. Okay. So I got funding from them, the international program at that time. Okay. So I dealt with the program, and I, in fact, she is okay. the one who sent me the link to DST. Okay. But at that time, it didn't work out. Uh, you know, Kanan Iyer basically had his expenses covered, so he was not too interested in. Uh, you know, writing but a proposal they go beyond just travel expenses, right? They right. support full-fledged right. research programs. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, again, from our, from the Indian side, I'll just say this one thing. This is only one and a half years of experience, so you have to remember that. Uh, but you know, graduate students are all supported by the government of India. There's some equipment money, so the primary motivation to get funded projects here is to get new equipment that that you know that will add to our repertoire of what we can do what we want to do um, so that said so the motivations are maybe slightly different on either side of the pond but i think uh, they certainly uh, you know if we need we need money for for a prime mover we'll get we'll have to pursue the opportunities we have okay any other thoughts on on proposal development anybody else that has had some experience with with other international opportunities. Actually, I'm involved in that. I'm doing some kind of collaboration. Russian Academy of Science and DST. Russian Academy of Science and DST. They are having collaborative some kind of thing. Uh, there's one more thing about European uh, networks. Uh, I think, uh, according to the new rules, Indians can be a full-fledged partner in uh, European networks, just like European country, except there has to be a European country to begin with. And uh, um, uh, so, in, uh, uh, there are several network projects called Marie Curie, Initial Training Network, and also uh, 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 so a network which are not for training, but mainly focused on research. In all of that, we can be regular uh, partners. That's what uh, they uh, they had a meeting here at Chennai where the some of the people came from European Union to explain this and to welcome us into this. Okay. So I have tried. I just ended up also writing on for Marie Curie Initial Training Network, but uh, uh, I think that many many people have got uh, got into different uh, uh, networks and also this framework programs, big ones also. Okay. So that's uh, for Marie Curie Initial tra Training. That's what I'm trying, but uh, only, some of or? my colleagues have tried for even big. Framework programs. Okay. Also, uh, I think I will uh, speak about it with my uh, boss because he, he is uh, no, he knows all these things. Uh, so. Okay. So, like an industry consortium, uh, you mentioned government money, sort of added on. What would be such sources? Are you that you might be aware of? Um, maybe the DOE. 
in that case, perhaps some partnerships with uh, some national labs can be brought, I mean, introduced. Um, so now that becomes a bigger program, but giving it an international perspective, because the argument can be made that uh, uh, the opportunity for U.S. companies to expand into the Indian market is beneficial to the U.S. economy, Correct. and therefore the U.S. government should invest in that in some way, okay. right? I mean, so, Department of Energy, maybe. Okay. So, I think that, that that's uh, something that can be developed. The if, uh, yeah. you know, if, if we can get some more information about you know, an opportunity to write such a proposal, yeah. or... or I mean, it's something we may have to do. In other words, there may not be any existing template, but okay. it may be something which can... I mean, right? I mean, is this something that can be developed? Right. I, I, I've wondered about it often because okay. Cummins is supporting uh, work at IIT Bombay. Cummins is supporting work at Purdue. And there is there are people talking, but how co coordinated it is is something that's a uh, question. Uh, Mahesh, if I can make a quick comment, uh, just, uh, just alluding over what uh, Dr. Ibrahim was saying earlier. <clears throat> so we have uh, tried this, uh, Argonne National Lab, uh, together with IIT Kanpur, uh, on the experimental side of things. Uh, we have written a proposal uh, through DOE ERE program. Uh, I'm not aware of the complete details because it was an experimental pro project that was written up. But I can definitely talk to the PI who was involved and uh, get some information. But that's definitely a avenue. I don't know if there were industrial partners on that one, but we could definitely explore industrial partnerships also. Yeah, it's going to help definitely. Exactly right. For the NICOP, for the ONR uh, NICOP opportunity, uh, if we can, I guess, sort of identify one or two teams that, that want to take that forward, um, so we can, you know, like I said, you know, it's entirely voluntary. Perhaps, you know, we could talk a little bit and then Fine. get back to you. But, uh, yeah, you don't have to get back to me. You can get back to no, anyone else that you want to work with. You know, idea of how to do this. Right. Okay, but that website has, you know, the priorities of what they want to fund, you know, what ONR's priorities are. So, um, it's on there. Okay, well... I think I hope I hope your stay for the last couple of days has been sort of pleasurable. I hope uh, you know we learned a few things. I'm sure uh, I have learned a few things from this interaction that I can take forward with me. Um, and I I hope uh, uh, you enjoyed the event as much as we did. Uh, just I, I want to say that. This was just a wonderful uh, workshop. Thank you for putting it together to you and uh, Sujit and also uh, Paul. Paul sits next to my office, so we are separated by two feet every day. <laughs> uh, and I want to thank the students, the per people who came to pick us, the person who came to pick us up, people who came to pick us up at the airport, I mean, in the middle of the night, and for all the Thing, all the ways, thing, all the way things have been handled here. I mean, so professionally and uh, so well. It has been just a wonderful experience, and I think that everyone will. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you very much. Just want to say formal thanks. First of all, I want to uh, thank the uh, participants who have come from very long distances from um, uh, America and from. 
Europe and also from Calcutta and Kanpur and uh, Bangalore. Uh, without the uh, participants' uh, involvement uh, in the Netherlands and uh, without uh, the uh, active participation and uh, I know you all must be jet lagged, but everybody was very enthusiastic in the arguing here. So without it, the conference uh, will not be a success at all. And I also wanted to uh, thank the industry who is here and rein in on the academics so that we have some idea of what is there uh, and, uh, to make sure that we are modeling the reality rather than trying to construct reality to suit our models. Uh, I want to thank the Indo uh, US Science and Technology uh, Forum for uh, funding this. And uh, we wish to thank the Research Park for letting us have this, host this event here. It has been a nice experience. I wish to thank the IIT Madras administration and uh, also want to thank Kalpana who ran the, who conducted the uh, dance program yesterday. This was a very splendid uh, program. Too bad we couldn't see all of it because we had to come to have dinner. And last and most importantly, the students of IIT Madras who uh, picked you up and did everything. We uh, hardly had anything except the, we had a list from last workshop and just handed it over to them and then they ran everything. So all we did was to speak to the students for about 20 minutes and they ran the whole show. And also uh, Pavitra, my secretary who was sitting outside, she also did quite a bit of work to make sure that Mahesh and I didn't have to do anything. So thanks a lot and hopefully we'll find money to work together. We will work together and have fun and serve the industry needs. So thank you all.